Hi, it's Chris. And last year when the new USB lithium came out, they only had three tools. So I built a Ryobi lantern and also a little uh, USB charger that had a small LED light on it. I'll put links to those projects. This year they came out with two new products. They have a 500 lumen flip light and a little uh, 600 lumen flashlight. In this video, let's look at the flip light. The unit pivots back and forth. You can see the magnets labeled here and here. And this area here is set up for uh, sliding it onto two bys. And uh, there's also slots along here, which you could use with uh, deck screws or something if you want to more permanently mount something. It's got an on and off button on top. It's actually got three modes. It's got, that's bright, medium, and low. And it says that low power will last 24 hours, and I'm going to run tests on the high and medium settings and see how long they last. To install the battery, you just unscrew the cap, and then the battery, there's a flat area here, and the flat area on the battery, and it just slides in, and you press it down, it clicks in, and then you just screw the cap back on. In my test, the 500 lumen setting ran for uh, two hours and nine minutes, and the 200 lumen setting ran for four hours and eight minutes. The light has an IP54 rating, which means it's protected from li limited dust ingressing, and it can take water spray from any direction, but you cannot submerge it. I was curious if the lithium batteries would work out in the cold, so because you'd like to leave this out in your car as an emergency light. So I've got my 12 volt freezer. I've set it for 32 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm gonna stick the LED light inside and then do a light test later and see how long it runs if it does. I've stored the flashlight overnight in my core. So let's see if it still works. It's... So I'm gonna leave it and see how long it stays on. I'll just check it every 15 minutes or so. So it ran for just about two hours, which was uh, nine minutes shorter than at room temperature. The nice thing, it has magnets built into the base, so it easily sticks up to your breaker box. So if the power goes out, you can easily use that to look at what's going on. And a nice feature is that it's built to go on two bys. So if you have new construction, you can just stick it up and it easily holds on and you can use that as a temporary light. It also sticks nicely to the oil burner duct work. So if you have to make repairs or people like me with an old house and big old beams, uh, the uh, two by four connector is not gonna help you, but you could just use some deck screws and. Put them in through these slots here if you want to make more of a permanent mount. One thing that it's missing is a way to hang it on pipes or wires. So what I did is I just took a coat hanger and bent it and put it through the two slots here. That seems to work pretty well, although it's not easy. It really needs a pivot. Maybe I'll 3D print something. You can use a solar panel to charge it. Just plug it right into a USB and it will be flashing green. This one just finished charging so it's solid green. You just connect the cable that it came with to the back of the solar panel and then to the type C port that's on the battery. So let's see if we can make a nice rotating hanger for it. This is the polygonal file we got from the Revel Point Mini 3D Scanner. And you can use this to take measurements to build the hook hanger, or you can just use a caliper. I designed this hanger so that these two hooks would go through the slots in the back of the LED light, and then the hook here has a ball joint so it can rotate when you hang it. I used the uh, paint feature where you can paint in support 
because I needed support under these areas here, but I did not want to put support where the ball joint is. To attach the hook, you just put it through the slots and push up and it snaps in and then you can hold it up and the top part pivots. It's, the hook is sized to go over one inch pipes. It's with the unit folded up. Here's an example of it hanging on a wire and you can see how you can turn it around and aim it any direction. Here's an example of hanging it on a pipe. I'll put the 3D file up on uh, Prusa's printables and on Thingiverse. Well, if this was helpful, please hit like and subscribe, and have a great day.